Okay guys, new character focus chapter now in Piggy Book 2. Let's get just get straight into it. Uh, I'm very exci excited and yeah. Let's see. Breakout. Oh my god, breakout. That's insane man. It's probably a Tigre character focus chapter, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, if y'all haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. This is gonna be insane man. A new piggy chapter after so long, man. Wait, you can't pick the mode. Only bot mode. Oh. Wow. Um. Oh, here we go. Tiger character for the chapter. You alright, Tiger? You look a little nervous. But Danny. Would it be a lie to say we all feel that way? Tiger looks so different, man. Listen up, bunnies. As soon as I give the signal, you get your rears to that bunker ahead. You hear me? Sergeant Monroe. So from here onwards, I was that focused that I didn't want to turn on my mic. So here's a tutorial on how to escape the, this map then. So you just basically walk through this um this whole ground full of wall I guess. And then like once you reach the end of this area you just stand on this, hit down, the lights will turn off, just go straight, the they will give you a flashlight. And also, there's a jump stair right here. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then you just go into this room and you will see this whiteboard. So there are like four dots on this whiteboard. Each dot represents an area you need to go to activate uh, the doors. So in this whole video, I'll be showing you where do I go for each dot. So yeah. Watch the video now. Let's go. By the way, there is also a timer. It is 12 minutes, but the timer only shows up when there's only one minute. So you gotta be quick on this also. So yeah. For activating the doors from the whiteboard, right? You gotta activate that switch. And yeah, once you activate that switch, you gotta put like four wires in. As you can see later, like this yellow wire and other another three more wires. So yeah. So just watch the whole video and you should be able to understand, yeah? Oh well, my red one is over here. So activate the red one, you get teleported to another area. Which is the, um, you know, this one where you have to go around and then like avoid getting touched by the black monster right there. The floor will rise up and then you have to like try to find, figure out your way through and go through the path to the other side. Once you get to the other side, you'll see that and then a door right there. It will automatically open and you'll get into the carnival cage. You see that symbol? Remember that symbol? That's the last symbol. Do you remember? Remember that you activate the switch just now? Put the uh, yellow wire in there. There'll be another three more wires. So remember to put it in there. So my this one over here is blue because it the, the whiteboard has a uh, red, green, and purple. So this one you gotta pick the one that is on the whiteboard. So I got teleported into this uh Tigris house. You have to like try to get to the other side without that uh orange monster seeing you, the orange sentinel. You gotta hide and then once you see that he's gone, you gotta run. Run 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 and then there is another obstacle you need to hide. You have to hide here. The mo the sentinel there's one more sentinel right there. So you gotta hide at the uh dining table there, dining table room and wait for it to come. So once it has gone, you quickly get to the other side and yeah, not over here. That, that's a very dumb move but go here go straight and then you should see a key right there pick it up and then go back to the place where you came from so you gotta like avoid the sentinel and head back same thing same thing how you came to get the key and yeah it's so it's right here and go and I accidentally teleported back so I gotta go back and check what's the code. The code for that green that green symbol is the second one. So remember that. There are four symbols, we now have two symbols. So let's head on to the next one. It's 
since we got a red wire here, I might as well grab it and put it down first. Boom, two wires down, two more to go. Okay, so here's the blue wire. I'm gonna grab it. And yeah, we're gonna um, put it down at the um, circuit, yeah? The switch. Okay, there we go. And one more left, one more left. So the last green wire should be in this tank room and yeah let's go grab it green wire and time to head back to the circuit box the switch box So once you open that, do the same thing with the um, you know the color code. Yeah, so you just type for this one. Mine is purple, so you go click the purple one. Boom, and go in. Same, it will teleport you to another room. This one for this room, you have to like rearrange the tables to their assigned area. So example, if the table on top says G, it means it's green. So you gotta put it at the green box so example for this red table got put it at the red red area so there we go and yeah it just goes on with same as blue yellow and green put them at their assigned boxes So once you're done with it, it will open this door right here and the symbol, next symbol right there, the third symbol, the purple symbol. So once you're done with this, just show we just go up this staircase and the next um, door code is just right outside here because it's kind of like a maze but not really that a maze, just, just follow where I go and you should be able to find it. So just right here, turn left, and then another left, and it's right here. For me, it's um green, so yeah, same thing, go in and it will teleport you. Be a book, boot camp. All the activities are also randomized, so doesn't mean that you get boot camp last, or the walk, or the floor one first. It, it is all random, yeah. So yeah, just go through this boot camp, and it should be good, yeah. And there we go. The last symbol right there I saw is the first blue up sign. Up single symbol. So yeah. Just head back to um this area over here to enter all the all the four symbols you found around the map. So the four symbols I found was over here. So you enter it right here. The four symbols that you found. And then um, the door should open. 
Hold on for a second, just let myself type first. And there we go. It should open and you should have a military knife. Then after you get the military knife, you just go and fight the monster. Just um, equip it and then just go straight to the monster and you'll win. For some reason, uh, the monster in my server was a bug and stuck, so I had to go find him instead. But yeah, there we go. We got it. Enjoy the cutscene, guys.